exercise is saying, given the two matrices A and B, A and B, find the product A times B if possible. Okay, it's saying if possible because we have to check the dimensions first. The dimensions of A are two rows by three columns. So we can say it's two by three. And the dimensions of B are three rows in two columns. So now we just have to check if these inner dimensions, we call them, match up. So does three match with three? And it does. So the if possible, okay, this is possible. So now it's just asking us to multiply A times B. Um, it's a good idea first to see what will the dimensions be of our answer. The way we do that is to match up these outer dimensions. Okay, so our answer is going to be a 2 by 2. All right, so let's start doing that. A times B. Okay, I like to just draw out my matrix. And I know there's going to be a lot of multiplication going on here. We're going to make it nice. And okay, these are just placeholders. Where I'm going to show my multiplication. So if I want to know what goes right in this top left spot, I know that that's the first row and first column spot of my answer. So I'm going to use the first row of the first one and the first column of the second one. So let's do that. We're going to multiply 2 times 9 plus 8 times 1. And then the last, just pick the last two. Okay, so negative 3 and 6. Now let's try another one. I'm going to go down here. This is my second row and second column. So what I'm going to use are second row of the first matrix, second column of the second matrix. So that's going to be 6 times 4 plus negative 2 times 0, and then 10 times negative 5. Okay, so this helps us get started. I'm going to do the other two quickly. Now we just have to complete the addition and multiplication and addition. And then we just have to complete the addition. So that's our product matrix. It's a two by two that came from multiplying a 2 by 3 and a 3 by 2. Just a couple of details. This one says, is it possible to do B times A? B is a 3 by 2, as we discussed, and A is a 2 by 3. So we have to check, do these inner dimensions match up? And they do. So that's good. So we can say, yes, it is possible. And then it's saying, what, if so, what will the dimensions of the product be? We're just going to match these up. We can say B times A will be a 3 by 3.